Surprise, surprise. You've been a great help, Jason, and I thought it only right and proper you should see it before I leave. Hasty exit? You could say that. Hello, bookings? Yes. I'd, uh, I'd like to reserve a seat on the first available flight to Los Angeles. California. Yeah, I'll hold. Dazzling, isn't it? Yeah, dazzling. Hello, John Quill. Hello, John. Yes, Los Angeles. First available flight. That's the earliest? Okay. One seat. Mellon. John Mellon. M-A-L-L-E-N. Yeah, I'll hold. Jason. <sighs> oh, no. It's not a fake. All that glisters is not gold. <laughs> Some cheap hood who got unlucky. No identification. Came prepared, though, didn't he? Could have been one of Mallon's little helpers or someone else's. What are we going to do with the body? We'll get him down to the car. Then we'll check out. Looks like I've got formidable opposition. Yes, I suppose the original would fascinate some people. You're beginning to see why someone would pay so much for its recovery, huh? Intrigued? Always, when money is concerned. Assuming that your opponent has the original, he's hardly had time to complete a deal with Philippe. There has been a second death, Monsieur de Brion. Suddenly, you were closely connected with this man. There is a key figure. You are linked with him. You must break this link. Are you interested, Jason? If we're going to move, 
We've got to move fast. We? My employer, Edwin Dashfield, and Debrion paid equally for the Cellini. We get it back, put it up to them for auction, highest bidder gets it. We share the profits. Agreed? Share the profits. Hmm. Sounds a little vulgar. I don't care what it sounds like, Jason. Are you in? Well, I suppose a writer must eat. What happened when you searched the hotel? Frankie has flown. Obviously doesn't like having his nest disturbed. A visit from him. Want to guess what he was looking for? The Cellini, maybe. <laughs> kind of stupid to figure I'd leave it lying around a hotel room, wouldn't you say, Philippe? I've never seen him before. Yeah, so you say. I want the Cellini. I have the money. Arrange a time and place. I want this disagreeable affair concluded as quickly as possible. Well, now, you're the one who put the hold on it in the first place. Time and place. Now you're hustling me, hmm? Well, that's just fine. Oh, uh, let me tell you something. Uh, that character, he isn't about to help himself anymore, is he? Or anybody else, for that matter. Are you threatening me? No, I'm advising you. Oh, I know we shook hands. That gentleman's agreement garbage. Fact is, I can't trust you, Philippe. Cellini. Yes or no? Done and place. Well, like I said, I can't trust you. So we'll do it my way. As a visitor. That was Frankie Lucas' car. Oh, yes. Was it? Wait a minute. And that was Vacheran, the guy I checked up on. What's he up to? I'll see if I can turn round at the end and find somewhere to park. Oh, you'll clean that up, won't you? It's kind of messy in a classy pad like this. Jason, can't you do any better it's than... It's best I can do. There's not another parking spot. I'm not a taxi. Keep your eyes open.
was all that about? Vacheron sending love notes to Frankie. Well, let's see the Brion. So, Philippe, that's our proposition. Is it agreeable? Jason, your friend has an excellent style. Quite your equal. Used to be. But out of condition. Aren't you, John? You neglect to mention, Jason, you've yet to beat me with a saber. Oh, that's much too Teutonic for me. All that scratching to face. Very good. Oh, enough. Let's have something to drink. Out of condition. Uh, do you have any sabers, Philippe? Of course. First, I want to settle the affair of the Cellini. And what's the arrangement? Tomorrow at 11, I drive to La Belle Ferronniere. Take with me the money in a briefcase and put it on the back seat of the car. Wait in the cafe for a telephone call, giving me final instructions. to find you here. You, Ava Juren. First, the Cellini. Is it still in your possession? For the time being, yeah. De Brion, you have agreed a price? We made a deal. Might I inquire how much? Why, what's the deal? I have a client. A client who would give a great deal for it. A great deal. Yeah, like what? A million. Dollars. Does the figure impress you? Enough. Hmm? Of course, I'd have to see the Cellini first to verify its authenticity. Mm hmm. Tomorrow at five. I'll contact you. Five o'clock then. Mm hmm. What about Debrio? Well, now I have a little plan. We could get both pieces of cake. A million and a half. Nice bit of bread, huh? Take a lovely trip around the world on that. First cabin all the way. Wait a minute. How do we get half a million from Debrio without parting with a Cellini? Well, when you're a professional, my dear, you got to be prepared. And I am. Clock, Jason. Good morning. You have to carry that thing. One of my good habits. Sure sign of impotence. I must admit, I don't like early morning operations, but you're impossible. 
Anyway, let's hope I don't have to prove my potency. With or without it, we should have the Cellini by midday. Let's go. Without question? Yes, if you ease into it coolly, which is exactly what you did. Garçon Primke, je tourne au téléphone. Je m'appelle de Brion. De Brion. Oui, de Brion. Euh, un café, un doigt, s'il vous plaît. Merci. Un café noir. I still think it's terrible the way I can't stop myself. Nothing succeeds like excess. But I've never, never met anybody like you before, Jason. And probably never will again. Speak to Monsieur de Brion, please. De Brion? Oui, Monsieur. Au moment, s'il vous plaît. Monsieur Brion? Ah, merci. De Brion speaking. You got the cash? Yes. Do you have the object? Of course. Here's what you do, Philippe. Take the road out of Neuilly to Saint Germain only. Right. Go through Saint Germain towards Boisy. Before Boisy, there's a third class road marked a share. Follow it to the square in a share. You'll see the bar Alexander. Wait for me there. You got that? So Saint Germain towards Poissy. Before Poissy, a third class road marked a share. Meet you in the Bar Alexandre in Affair. Bar in the Square. Right. I'll uh, leave now, Philippe. And uh, do it straight. Huh? No tricks. Oh, thanks, Ian. Mm, yes, uh, what's the number? Do you know? Has he come off the phone yet? Oh, yes. I'll go and um, get the phone. Now let's try a new place. I get the address. will have to wait. I'm afraid so. You are adorable. I know exactly what you mean. Here's what you do, Philippe. Take the road out of Neuilly to Saint-Germain-en-Laye. Go through Saint-Germain towards Poissy. 
Before Bozzi, there's a third-class road marked a share. Follow it to the square in a share. You'll see the bar, Alexander. Wait for me there. bleeding. Obviously better. Oh, thanks. Well, this should improve the design. Oh, of course you don't. The case? It's gone. Uh, so he never intended to part with the Cellini. Philip never intended to part with his money. A kind of double, double cross. Frankie's obviously got a new client. One prepared to pay a higher price. Much higher price. And being greedy. There's only a reason why he shouldn't grab all the early worms going. Something like that. So Vacheran and our Frankie are making music together. Well, now what? Well, we know Frankie's strength. Perhaps we'd better find out about Vacheran. But you're perfectly satisfied. You no, know, uh, Debrion tried to bend me out of shape. Understand? Of course. There's uh, nothing shaky about this deal. Nothing. Good. You know, I always hate to do it, but I can play as mean as any kid in the block. As an act of good faith, my client instructed me to give you this. Once I was satisfied with your authenticity. $50,000 on account. Where do I deliver?
You make a success, you make your money, then you get all this talk about ruthlessness and scrupulousness. But you know, Tesoro, you know this is not so. The higher you climb on this mountain, the lonelier it gets. You don't have that many friends anymore. Fewer people you can trust. But you, Carissima, you I can trust. Not here, but here. Am I mistaken, Tesoro? Now I will show you something. You will be the first one. The first. Close your eyes now. Now you can open them again. Are you afraid? No. I am kind. You know I'm kind. I want you to see my treasures. How can they call me a money-grabbing Philistine? Yeah, how can they do that? Here, yeah? Rome Colosseum by Panini. Make yourself comfortable, Tesoro. A call from Paris, Patrone. A signor Vatura. Stay. Hello? I have checked the Cellini, signor Andrea. It is the original. Frank and Luca will have it when he takes the night train from Paris to Rome tomorrow evening. He has booked a single sleeper. Carriage B. Number seven. It is entirely to my satisfaction, Monsieur Vatura. You will have your commission immediately after delivery. I thank you in anticipation, Signor Andrea. We have business, Enzio. I gather that, Patrone. You will catch the first plane to Paris. Tomorrow night, Paris Rome Express. Franco Luca. Carriage B, number seven. I won't fail, Patrone. Now I have more business. They call it pleasure. Paris Rome Express, carriage B, number seven. Thought we might join them, Jason. Rome.
suppose you'd let me come with you. As soon as I finish with Andre, I'll call you. Why don't you take care of yourself? Well, he's got a mean reputation. A guy like that, you know where you stand. But Frank, I'm right. what? Just one more thing to wrap up. So, then the world is ours. Okay. Je vous en prie. Oh, nearly time. Safari outfits just left the train. She was in the cafe when Philip went to the phone. putting those on for it getting dark well if he spots me the game as they say is up no i was traveling with a master of disguise no good oh yes makes all the difference i'll take care he only sees a back view oh that make it any easier to part him from the Cellini? dear me no he'll hang on to that like grim death now we're going to need an inspiration fortunately it's a long journey what are you doing? Ordering champagne. Well, that's the most civilized suggestion you've made this evening. I was just thinking of all the situations I've used on trains. There was one where uh -huh. Mark seduced a girl. You know, did the usual thing. Bribed the waiter to get to sit at her table. Ah, original. It was an early Marquette. And Anyway, it hardly applies here. I can see nothing inducing our guy to leave his compartment until we get to Rome. Of course, in the film of Istanbul with Love, Mark climbed onto the roof of the carriage of the train. What? I think we can get about that. Come to think of it. I think I've done everything else on a train except been inspired. I'll order another bottle.
grande, eh, è blondo? No, con i baffi? No, 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 senza i baffi, senza i baffi, hippie? No, no, non l'ho no, visto, no, 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 Forget it, Jason. Concentrate. Go off, people, you know. Where have you been, to Rodeo? Guess who owns the Villa Rosa? Angelo Andrea. Greek derivation, Italian appendage. Deported from the States four years ago. I wrote an article about his activities. I don't think he was very pleased. He had a finger in just about every dubious pie going. He's become some sort of art collector now, isn't he? A rare patron of the arts. That's diverting. Is that all you've got to say? Don't you have any ideas? Well, yes, one or two. So sorry, I'm being distracted at the moment. What were you saying? Vanity, vanity. Coffee. Which is Angelo Andrea's Achilles heel. Would you excuse me a moment? Jason King, you are the last person I expected to see. Uh, why is that, Angelo? I can't get over it. You know, it's quite incredible. You look so young. You don't mind me calling you Angelo, do you? I mean, you haven't changed your name, have you? Help yourself, Jason. You know, I still remember the last article you wrote about me. Oh, Angelo, it was such a long time ago. We were sowing wild oats. I didn't even think you'd bother to read it. I read it, Jason. Well, I'm a little hurt. You might have got in touch with me. You should be grateful. It prompted my departure from the United States. Did you know that? Not yet, John. At first, I thought it'd make you pay. But eventually, it didn't matter all that much. Now, here you are wanting to write another article. No, don't move. That's a shot, John. Nobody would believe it was five years ago. Now, what will you write about me this time? Oh, how you spend your time now you've retired. Is anybody still interested? Interested? You've become a legend in your own lifetime. A legend, eh? Here, how about the cigar, Jason? I like a green wrapper. Specially made for me, you know. Flown direct from Cuba. Fresh, moist. Can't stand the dry wrapper. No, thank you. No, I don't smoke. You fond of Puccini? Puccini, Monteverdi, Rossini, Giuseppe Verdi, the greatest of them all. Well, that's fine. Look, if you can just hold it like that with the cigar up, that makes a great picture. Uh, Patrona. Later, Enzio. How's that? One more. Thank you. Patrona of the arts, music, painting, above vie. I like painting I can understand. Modern stuff leaves me stone cold. Faces that look like faces. Trees that look like trees, that's what I like. Povero Picasso. You see, this is a part of your nature that hasn't been revealed to us before. That's right. They get hold of all that dirt. Blow it up, make it big. It gets all the readers. Oh, terrible exaggeration. Never trust journalists. <laughs> I go to the races now and then, play golf, have fun, you know. Not a bad business interest. I've got my investments, but I'm not active. I can get by with what I made. You say you're very wealthy, Angela. I, uh, let's say that I can afford to put a chicken on the table. You miss the old days. I thought we were talking about my retirement. 
You're not throwing me, are you, Jason? I'm sorry, I keep forgetting. La guerre est finie. Uh, let me try and rephrase it. Well, I make a little excitement down then. You know, I could tell you a thing or two. It would interest you. Even give you ideas for your books. I'm panting with anticipation. What is it, then, sir? Uh, could I have a word with you, Patron? Excuse me a moment, gentlemen. Champagne is getting kind of warm. I think there's a good chance he might be telling Angela he saw me on the train. Good. I'm glad to see that you're helping yourself to the champagne. I must go inside a little. I won't be long. What gives? I haven't the faintest idea. I have a feeling we've outstayed our welcome. My man tells me that you're from Bachelorin. But his commission is in the post. That was just an excuse to see you, Andrea. Excuse? You killed Frankie Luca, didn't you? Down. It's far too solid. Via Cilento, you were due, eh? Subito, eh? What are you doing? I just called Fabrigate. burnt to the ground. When the ashes were cold, we searched. We searched several times. But there was no sign of the Cellini. <laughs> Poetic. Sorry? It was lost once before in fire. In Urbino. 1623. Ah, uh, yes. I see what you mean. Someone will find it. Someone must find it. I doubt it. We really searched. It wasn't destroyed. It can't be. All those deaths. Martine. Hmm. Well, I said what I came to say. Nobody got very much out of it, did they? Nobody did. Except maybe one person. Long now, dears. 